Hello everyone, welcome to SMA vlog. I'm Shaheed. Today in this video, I'm going to show our journey from Lake Louise to Kamloop, British Columbia. In this video, I will try to cover all the exciting places that we had made a stop throughout this memorable journey. This is the hotel we stayed in the second time. I mean, for two nights we stayed here, I paid $432 for last two nights. I booked this hotel through Expedia. The name of this hotel is Mountaineer Loss. This is just beside the hotel Lake Louis Inn where we had stayed our first night. After that we went to the town of Jasper. After returning back to this area again, we had stayed last two nights at this hotel. There is a train line and the sound is coming from the train because the train is passing right now. After completing our complimentary takeout breakfast at this hotel, we started towards the beautiful town of Kamloops at British Columbia. This is the activity we did every time when we changed the hotel. So now we are moving out from this mountaineer lodge and now we are trying to pack up everything inside the car. We have to buy water from Walmart because water is very expensive here. So we are carrying our own water. Even though there were plenty of gas stations throughout our way to Kamloops, but we decided to fill up the tank from here as the gas price is a bit cheaper at Alberta compared to British Columbia. So our first stop was the entrance point of the Yoho National Park which was just at the beginning of British Columbia. We preferred to stop here and take some memorable pictures. Today we started our journey in the morning and uh, now we are making a stop by at Rogers Pass Discovery Center. From here we can see the Rogers Pass and some glaciers as well. It's a nice place. This is a hilly area. We already drove around two hours from Lake Louise and still we have around two more hours to go to reach at Kamloops. Now we will explore this area and resume our journey towards Kamloops. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe this channel. And if you have already subscribed this channel, I have lots of things to share with you guys. So be with me and enjoy the video. This area is just beside the Trans-Canadian Highway. This is a nice highway but in some places this highway becomes so narrow, especially in the mountains and there are some constructions also going on. So the driving is not normal, it's a little bit difficult, you know, it requires lots of lots of attention. Uh, other than that, so far our journey is going well and we are enjoying.
the building you can see behind me this is the Rogers Pass Discovery Center they totally closed this building and only uh, you can get some information from outside window other than that uh, no washroom is inside they put the washroom on the other side of this area these two you know uh, trailers these are the washrooms you know they took some measures for protecting everybody from COVID-19 We drove around one and a half hour from the last location and we came to Enchanted Forest at Revelstock. This is beside the town Revelstock. They also have another adventure here that is called Sky Track. So now first of all we are going to Enchanted Forest. This is the walkway to go up. Now we are going up. They have different activities here. We just got the ticket and entered into the park. This is a place where you need to explore and have some adventure and you know at the end have some fun. This is the tower and Jack and Jill area. Now we are heading to the tower.
now we are at the top of the castle tower and from here we can see one in one side the highway and on the other side the forest now we will go inside the forest and look for the attractions let's see what's waiting for us over there It's a very relaxing area and looks like very kids friendly. You can see beautiful mermaids are uh, sitting here showing their beauty to the visitors. It's really amazing. This, this whole place is made in a way that you are uh, walking in your dream and you know you are in a fairy tale environment. It's really amazing. So let's hang around and explore more. We can see two ancient horses here. We are now going to ride this horse. Yeah. Yeah, he's going. Keep going on. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> yeah. It's a small farmer house and we can see a farmer sitting on the haze and there is a chicken on the other side. These are the Canadian beavers, you can see it's a beaver area, they are collecting the sticks together and preparing their nest inside, their house inside these sticks.
It's a small shoe house and kids can go inside and slide down like this. I went down the slide. It's a nice slide. They made it so cute. It's so attractive to see. This is the mushroom world. There are some beavers, rabbits, they're just sitting uh, under the tree and trying to get some sunlight. Now we are heading towards a pirate ship made between the trees and it's very interesting, it's excellent. Let's take a look. So guys right now I am at the top of the pirate ship on the very edge of it it's very interesting it's made on the tree like a tree house but they gave a shape of the pirate ship very interesting so guys coming to enchanted forest is very easy if you start from Revelstock town towards Kamloops uh, you need to just drive around 15 to 16 kilometer and you will find this enchanted forest on your left hand side and the entry fee is $12 per adult and kids are $9 so you know it's not that expensive and it's really amazing because they tried their best to you know uh, make this place interesting and easy to walk around so I recommend everybody should come here and explore this place. Now we are heading towards a tree house. They have a big tree house this side. You can see here having so much adventure inside. Now we'll go inside and try to explore this tree house. It's a real tree house made inside the tree and we can see here there are three or four chairs are there kids can go inside and sit over there it's a basically main tree and the tree house is made just inside the tree
this is the witch house uh, they made it like a witch house and they put a witch outside it's scary Behind me, it's a very tall and big tree house. Uh, I think it's equivalent to three-storied building. It's a long, big tree house, and uh, it's surrounded by circled staircases. People can go to the top of this tree house. So guys, we almost uh, went to all the attractions of this place and now we are heading towards our car to continue our journey to Kamloop. This place is in the middle. Uh, so now at least we have another 180 kilometers to go to reach our final destination. So let's go. Finally we found some living animal, like two ducks are roaming around here. So guys this is the final exit point through which we came out, now we will head towards our car in the parking lot. After exploring the ancient forest uh, at Rebel Stock, we came down at uh, Kamloop. We arrived around half an hour ago. 
and we checked into the hotel. The name of our hotel is Comfort Inn at Kamloops. Kamloops is a big city full of mountains designed and laid out on the layer of hills. It basically, we'll take a tour tomorrow of this city and we'll head towards Vancouver. So that's all for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, click the subscribe button and also click the small bell icon so that it will notify you when I upload my next video. So till then, wait for my next upcoming videos in coming weeks. I hope you guys will enjoy those videos as well. Thank you so much guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.